a co-ed school today is a very peculiar world where what really counts is who's cute and who likes who. Dr. Leonard Sachs put aside his medical career to dedicate himself to promoting single sex education in the United States. Today, he's being invited all over the world to talk about the benefits of single-sex classrooms. The best way for the boys is not the best way for the girls. The best way for the girls is not the best way for the boys. Dr. Leonard Sachs, author of Why Gender Matters, says the solution? Split them up. Why does gender matter when it comes to learning? The brain research is showing us quite clearly that the brains of girls and boys develop along different trajectories. The surprising finding is that the co-ed classroom ends up disadvantaging both girls and boys. Separating kids by gender, how is that different from racial segregation? Racial categories are socially constructed. You can't look at a piece of brain tissue under the microscope and tell me whether it came from a white person or a black person, but you can look at a piece of brain tissue under the microscope and say whether it came from a woman uh, or a man. We have to be aware of not just how boys and girls differ physically, but how they differ as far as how they learn. I have never seen um, a group of young women more sure of themselves, more outgoing, more interested in the world around them. When it's all girls, the, some certain boundaries come down and people are just really open to being themselves. They know who they are. They can finish the sentence that starts with, I am good at. It's important that girls feel secure as girls. I think being surrounded by girls, they feel very comfortable in, in the classroom. There's no reason to think, oh, well, maybe I'm not good enough for this or whatever, because you're all the same, because you're all girls. No one is concerned about wearing makeup, no one's concerned about how their hair looks in the morning. You really are just at school to learn. I know sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't even care what I look like. I just roll out of bed, throw my uniform and come to school. Boys and girls learn in significantly different ways. They can learn in a way that suits their style and they can make friendships that uh, are deep and lasting. It does create a bigger friendship and bond with everybody. Talking to my friends that go to co-ed schools, you don't really have that same connection. I used to go to a co-ed school and I found the boys were really distracting. My friends in the co-ed schools, they always feel like they need to impress the boys and they need to be self-conscious. Quite evidently, there's just, there's just fewer distractions in a single-sex environment than there would be in a co-ed environment. So you're with other young women who are there for the exact same reason as you to learn. Just the spirit of kind of girls can do anything is really is really a powerful one at the school and I think it really empowers like um, all the students here to just really become involved. All the sort of stereotypes of male dominated things are cut down because girls are doing everything. I don't think that the same thing could be achieved um, at a co-ed institution because it's so much easier to get lost when you're not the main focus. If you want to be focused on your work but still have fun, I think single-sex school is really great. More and more you'll see in single-sex schools that efforts are being made to help girls uh, lead socially balanced lives. I'm pretty happy that my mom chose this place. Going to an all-boys school is it's really about exploring new areas, trying new things, and getting to know yourself better. Your kids would learn more, you wouldn't be as distracted with having girls. I feel like here I understand like almost my full potential. We learn very differently also. I mean, the minds work differently, we understand things differently. You're definitely able to uh, be more yourself and that just brings up confidence. It's actually really great. I mean, you can wake up in the morning, not have to really worry about how you look. One thing for sure is that you're a little bit more comfortable in the environment. You don't gotta worry about the girls that you want, like you might like or you wanna look good in front of. Senator Bush, Secretary of State Rice, former Vice President Al Gore, Senator John Kerry, and Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi all attended same-sex schools.